Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to stop by and visit and check out my video. And we're here at Donington Park and I've been working on the setup for the Ferrari 488 Evo and I haven't done a setup for the Ferrari for a while and kind of missed driving it. Um, you know, obviously a great car, fast car, um, unique just like they all are really. So let's jump in the car and do a couple of laps, and of course, then we'll go over the setup, and then I will show, I'll put a link to the setup in the description, and of course, I have a PayPal link that's in the description also if you want to help support the channel, and I just say thank you to everybody that has, uh, no matter the size, I appreciate it, and uh, so let's jump in the car. I think the, Ferrari, the 488 really, really works well here, um, which it does most tracks anyway. But it just right off the, you know, get go, it just seemed like it just worked really good here at Donington. You know, some cars just kind of fight. You're trying to find a, you know, trying to find a balance, you're trying to find uh, some speed or this or that. The Ferrari just seemed like it just, I mean. It just took to like a fish to water. I mean, it just was no, no problem at all. I'm sure there's more in it. Just like right here, got a little loose. Of course, I had 80, you know, 80 liters to start off with. That was a 128.32. Which I was really happy with. And now let's go to the last lap. I was just doing some setups to to see what I wanted to race at uh, Donington Park in the CP race. So I was, you know, doing some setups for uh, some different cars to see what I liked. I went even went off there a little bit. So that was the last lap of the 15 minutes. Just did a 15 minute stint and just wanted to see how it was at the end. So it was really important. And it's a 128.42. So I only lost a tenth of a second. And of course the, the fast lap was at lap six. So again, it shows you know really good consistency. Um, and I was really happy with that. So it's, it's showing that it's staying right there. So um, I'm sh and also the wear was really good. It didn't have it. it did not have any bad wear on uh, the tires or anything. So uh, of course um, we'll go over that. We go over the setup. So let's go over the setup. It 
So here we are at Donington Park, and of course, um, you know, I did the setup earlier when I was getting ready to see if I was going to use it for the uh, CP race. So, um, look at those shadows and everything in the sunlight. Isn't that cool? I always never get tired of the graphics here in ACC. So, um, let's go over the setup. And now, the fast lap that I had in practice was a 128.18. So that was my, and that's with a race fuel load. That's not with a light fuel load. So just, you know, driver differences. Um, so let's go over this. It's uh, basically the front's 25.8 left front, 26 left rear, 26.6 right front, and 26.5 right rear. The toe is a negative 0.1 with the camber at negative 3.4 on the left front and negative 3.5 on the right front. The caster's 13. Toe on the rear is 0 .04 with the camber at negative 3 on the left rear and negative 2.9 on the right rear. Electronics are 3, 3, and 3. So, well, 3, 4, and 3, and 3. So, a lot of 3s. So, I had it on the ECU map of 3 because I did try the number 1 map. And, I mean, it, you might gain a teeny bit, but I don't really think you're going to gain that much. Um, and, of course, you got to give up a lot of fuel mileage. So, I mean, I just ran it in three because I think it seemed like it, it was more consistent and just easier, more uh, more drivable. So, uh, got 80 liters, of course, number one brake pad. And like I said, the wear was really good. Um, of course, I, like I said, it's not going to show it here because I did it in the hot stent. But the wear was really good. It was not anything drastic, anything severe and anything. And the 15 minutes, there was no blistering, no graining, no nothing. Uh, mechanical, got 30 on the anti-roll bar, 56 on the brake bias, steering ratio is 13. Springs on the front are 163,800 with an 800 bump stop rate and a 10 bump stop range. And on the rear, the springs are 134,000 with a 500 bump stop rate and a 40 bump stop range. Anti-roll bar is 5 and the preload on the diff is 50. Shocks are 5, 2, 7, 6 on the front. And 5265 five on the rear. Arrow, I have 58 in the front and 58 in the rear with an 11 rear wing and a 3 and a 3 in the brake ducts. And the front arrow variation is a negative 0.1. And of course, all my uh, practice and stints are always done in mid 20s, usually 24 to 25 degrees with low wind or no wind. Um, and that way, and with an optimum track, and that way you can. Um, adjust accordingly whether it's the brake ducts or the tire pressures as far as if it's colder or hotter or those kinds of things so i sure hope it works good for you i think it's a really a solid car here at donnington and um as far as just overall speed and the pace of it it's it's good in in, in pretty much every way so it's a very good car here for donnington and there's not a lot of high bumps and high curbs and things like that so it, it really likes that because it usually the ferrari doesn't really like you know a lot of upsetting curbs or big bumps or whatever and so and there's really nothing here like that here at uh, uh except for that one if you go off uh there's that one turn of the right hand turn there where if you go off there's a real big hole or something but i mean that's just kind of if you're going off the track but again it's a really good car it fits donnington really well and I sure hope that works. this setup works really good for you. And I really enjoy any feedback or comments. I uh, enjoy talking to all my friends. And I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to help support my little channel. I really would appreciate it. And I hope you come back and visit again real soon. Take care.